This brother said, "Ah, but not Heidi." He said, "How can you be one of Africa's biggest YouTuber and be looking this ordinary before DJ Kali? Would the Maya got to jump this Charlie? Wrote brand and dress well. Switch up." You have millions of subscribers and follow across followers across all social media platforms. You travel you travel across the world, man. You got to dread to fit your status. You make millions of CDs. Get a proper outfit, man. We are in 2024, brah. Dress how you want to be addressed. At a point, DJ Kali thought he was one of the boys gallivanting around. Albert mocked their own brother from Ghana, one of the biggest YouTuber in Africa. That is Wode Maya, well known in Nigeria as well, well respected in Nigeria across. Africa. He has met with president, businessmen, well-known people. He can easily decide to get endorsement deals if he want to when it comes to the clothing, the fashion, and everything. But Wude Maya, as we know him, is not about fashion. It's about showing the Africa culture, showing the Africa experience. Wude Maya, some of his videos, you can see him even getting almost naked, wearing just panties, because he's trying to describe trying to describe a community way of living. Sometimes you see him even milking a cow, even uh, rubbing this clay on himself. This is what this guy does and travels, showing off the cultural heritage of communities, of countries across Africa. And now you want him to dress accordingly, like an artist. You want him to dress accordingly, like a fashionista. You want him to dress accordingly, like someone who is all about the fashion, the Bugatti, and the crazy lifestyle. <laughs> Do you think everybody cares about that? Do you think everybody that has money cares about buying clothes, buying the best stuff? Do you really think that everybody really, really, really do care about that? Why don't you become, Albert, this is my advice, why don't you become a big star and then you dress accordingly, then leave Woody alone? I'm in Nigeria defending Woody Maya because I know very, 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 very well. It's not about money. Woody Maya, like Albert said, he said, with the Maya is well respected, has millions of followers across Africa, across the nation, across the world, millions of uh, subscribers. Would they make approximately between thirty thousand US dollars to hundred thousand US dollars on YouTube alone? Then, when we come to Facebook, verified account, and of course, making money also from Facebook. I don't know about TikTok. When it comes to a endorsement deals with traveling agents, a endorsement deal with uh, traveling companies, a endorsement deal with uh, motors, construction companies, you don't want to say how this money are pouring in. And he also has a girlfriend as well, who is equally really, really good when it comes to uh, uh, comes to YouTube. Who the Maya met with DJ Kali? DJ Kali, the flashy master when it comes to uh the fashion uh fashion body in the entertainment industry although DJ Kali might be surprised but DJ Kali even posted Woody on his Instagram page posted him on his Instagram page encouraged him it's not about what to wear sometimes most times it's not even about what you wear. I understand the concept that see, you must dress accordingly before dress according to the way you want to be addressed. You can wear cheap clothes, 
and see how these nice hair and react responsibly and talk responsibly and you will still be respecting the society or you want him to wear this huge chain like Davido, huge chains like uh, whiskey and the rest man give this guy a break give this guy a break eh? Ghana you guys will better start this year by encouraging your home hmm? when it comes to the entertainment industry I will want you guys to encourage your own. A lady wrote something recently about uh, Ghana entertainment industry. You know, the entertainment industry is already being dominated by a lot of international artists, most especially in Nigeria. And this year, it's the last, as at last year, Hendy, instead of you guys to reflect on that and change the narrative, change the narrative of your own music. Somebody like uh, Stone Boy was how they pouring hatred out to Nigerian music. Now it's about time you guys to support your own. Stop tarnishing. Allow all that national to tarnish your artists. Good and fine. But not you. Not you. Let's listen to this girl, guys. Break Because we are getting that energy. We are starting to believe that, do you know what? We can actually do things. We can achieve things. We've seen Afia do it. Chef Fala is about to do it. So why can we not do it? And I have this same hope and energy for the music industry. I wish we had this same energy for the industry. We would be very far at this point. I will speak on this until we get to a point where we're at level 100 in that industry. And I think the more Ghanaians that attempt to break a Guinness World Record will give more Ghanaians the energy to believe that we are far better than just being the tourism country, the party country, 30 December. We offer so much to the table. 2024 is ours for the taking and we are here. We are ready. 2024, let's go. Let's go. I like the spirit that this woman is pouring out, good and fine. And of course, also talking about uh, Chef Fala Abdul Raz Razak. <laughs> Judging by that name, that name sounds really, really Nigerian. So, according to uh, according to the news, of course, currently still happening in Ghana, Ghana Chef Fala Abdul Razak has now cooked for 150 hours and counting. During our attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the longest cooking marathon by an individual, she planned to cook for 240 hours within 10 days, January 1st to January 10th, non-stop. But she's going to be taking break, 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 but those breaks will be monitored. And after everything, they're going to submit the footage to the Guinness World Record. And Guinness World Record will go over it to check if she defaulted, if there's any form of uh, uh, foul play, then they will issue her an award. She can go below or even more than. Like what happened to our own very Ilda Basi. Ilda Basi just set out these, uh, these uh, steps for other people to step on. Idabasi to me will always be one of the most successful Guinness World uh, Record Breaker who made it through Guinness World Record Breaking. She set those footprints. Nigeria said, it's always nice when I see Nigeria setting footprints. So Nigeria set those footprints and Ghana is now working on it. And that is why you Ghanaians need to really, really respect and appreciate Nigerians. I want to see it happening. I am rooting for Chef Fela to break it. There's still other ladies out as well in Ghana that's about to break uh, the longest singing marathon, something something like that. I don't know about that. I've not read about it. But Fala Habu, Abdul Razak sound very, really similar to Nigeria names as well as Muslims. So if you might able to check, check her heritage, you might discover that she has Nigeria blood flowing in her. You know, I'm just saying though, that is another discussion for another day. So please, Ghana, say, support your own. Support your own. Hmm? 
Because we over here in Nigeria, we are not going to help you to support your own. Because we have our own to support. By the time we support your own, our own, you see how much we love our artists. That is how you guys we start having interest in our own Argentinas. So, Woody, well, sorry, that uh, your Ghana YouTuber, instead of blasting him, appreciating him, after all, DJ Kali appreciated him for walking up to him and uh, talking and discussing. So, appreciate him. Hmm? Appreciate him.